Okay, we're back. We're going to continue this painting that we've started. We've, we're going in stages, but I want to show you something. A lot of my students like this when we go out to paint. I said, use a palette knife. First of all, you can put the paint on a lot quicker. And I use palette knife brush. I'll sometimes start them out like this, and I'll finish them with a palette knife. Uh, and not only that, if you pick up some paint with a palette knife, let's pick up a little glob of paint. You put it on. And you just clean it off like this, and it's clean, okay? So you don't have to worry about your brush dipping it into turps and so on. Palette is very clean. You can make nice, nice lines with it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's continue this with a palette knife. Now, I use basically, don't pick 15 different palette knives. I use basically, this is a T1, and this is a T25. It's, it's one of the creative marks. But it's, they're great palette knives. Now, you can go a little bit bigger. But this is a smaller painting, so this painting with a palette knife, you could probably finish it up in about an hour and a half if you're out painting. Okay, here again, let's start out. This is, I'll start out with the T1 here. Pick up a little green, pick it up, darken it. And just start here again, just like your paint, put the darks in first. And you can push the color right in there. You just pull the color right out of here, just put it in. Palette knife's a lot of fun once you get to using it. The nice thing about it, now if you go to a lighter color or red, just clean it like it's totally clean. Let's go, just to show you an example, let's go to the barn here. Put a little color in here. The more you use a palette knife, the more skilled you can become. Example, let's make it gray. You take any blue, any color blue, you take a burnt sienna with it. You put it like here, put the blue here, and mix the two back and forth. If you add white to it, here again you get these nice grays. Put a little bit more burnt sienna, and you get nice grays with it. See these nice grays? And that's a little more, more brown. Let's put a little more brown with that to get a little more brownish color here. In the, you'd be surprised how much detail you can you can get with a palette knife. If you want to make a dark line, and let's we'll wait just a minute before we make it, and I'm going to show you how to do that with a palette knife. Keep a rag in your hand all the time just to clean. Remember, we're painting shapes. Put the color in as you see in the right value. See how quickly we can build it up there with a the palette knife? Let's see, now don't totally mix your color. Let's see those colors mix themselves. Watch what happens when I put, a, a, there's some beautiful orange in here, just a little bit of the shade of orange right through here. Watch what happens. See? See, this orange is the opposite almost of green. Let's go a little darker right in here. Nice colors and here, nice blues and, and here's your palette. I'm just pulling off the palette the colors I've already mixed when I started this painting. Let me show you an example of how you can use a palette knife to your advantage. Let's put some nice dark in here. Now you see these little rails going across here? Take the edge of your palette knife, mix your right color. Just hold it and just watch. Let's 
of them a little bit darker color. There you go. Okay, you got a few little rails. You got a couple rails coming up here like this. Some of that color is right in there. Go a little bit darker right in here. This gets a little bit darker. Now you can go back and forth with your palette knife or brush or however you want to do it. And I'll do that at periodically. I'll go into the brush. Okay, let's work this out a little more. Palette knife, you can pick up a whole lot more paint too. Some of those pure colors, some of it's not. Look at that pure color right in there. And it comes right down through here. Yeah. And as it comes down here, there's another dark greenish color right in here. Remember, color it, it, values are. Darks, middles, and lights, remember they form the object. Color's relative. I don't care if that's a dark red, a dark green, dark blue. If you put the value in correctly, you'll be okay. Oh, you can have a lot of fun with this. Let's put some more color back in here. Some of this I may take a brush. Okay, I want to take a brush. Let me make sure my brush is clean. I want to scumble some color in here. Get it in here quickly. Okay. That way when I put the palette knife to it, it'll, it'll go right in there. Okay. Now let's take some color and put it on top of that. Yeah, bright the bright colors come forward okay as you get down in here there's some darker colors in here I'm working off the palette I've already mixed the colors I'm just working off these colors when I need more I'll mix more of that same color now there's nice bright nice color right in here More yellow, orange. This is where the practice comes in. When you're mixing values, it takes a lot of practice to get the right value in there. Probably values, out of anything in painting, values are the most difficult to learn how to paint. If you can master your values, you'll master your painting. Now, let's go back into the background a little bit. Some of these beautiful greens, okay? Don't be afraid to pick the paint up. Push it in. A lighter green across the top of this. Getting some of this beautiful cerulean back here. Okay. 
this leaves. Make it a little bit dark right now, but we can lighten it. Believe it or not, if you look closely in the painting, see all these beautiful colors are coming through here. See them? It's got beautiful purplish, bluish colors. And when you do that, something else happens, and the color next to it has got to change. It's a nice green in here. Now that's going to have to be some dark coming up here, so let's put some darks in there. It's a lot of fun. I could sit for hours and just, just play with the paint. Now it's a little bit dark back here. Just scrape it a little bit. Sometimes my students see me come with a palette knife. They say, oh, no, they're scraping. He's scraping my paintings, but not all the time. Let's just kind of take a brush here. Kind of go back into this just a little bit here with a more color in here. Right down in here. See that in the mountains there's a lot of mist that'll come up to these mountains. A little bit darker here. Just tone the color and have a lot of fun with it. Okay, let's go back to the palette knife again. Use plenty of paper towels over the palette knife because you're always cleaning that palette knife. Once in a while you may have to just dip it in there. Let's go in here and get some more of these darks. We'll let this one thing go in a couple minutes. Dark, dark against the light, dark against the light. Nice warm green that comes across there where the, the sun hits that. Right through here. See a lot of that color is mixing with what we've already put in there, okay? Very dark right in here. Remember, without a dark, you can't show a light. And you can lighten things all you want, but if you don't have that dark behind it, it's never going to fly. Okay, just a couple darks right in here. Okay, let's expand that roof just a little bit here. I'd have to do it with a brush here, but I think we will. The roof can go down just a little bit more this way, this way, this way, and this way. So I said you can always go back into your paint. Now we're going to bring that other roof down a little bit. We've already got the color pretty much mixed right here. White with it. Okay. We'll be done here in just one second. We'll just kind of, okay, let's take a little bit of that gray that we mixed. Let's go back over here just a little bit, right down. Now what you do then uh, to reconstruct, and a lot of times you have to reconstruct the painting many times as you, you lose certain things. So you go back in here, reconstruct it with a dark, kind of dark right across there. A little dark there, and then that line kind of goes out. These boards are all rotted right here at the ending. It gets real dark right in there. Now that's got to go one little bit lighter, and we'll stop this in just a minute here. Okay, got this nice gray here. Just 
is right in here. Oops, let's go a little bit lighter. When the paint gets too wet, it doesn't stick. That's when it stops. We got a few light boards right over here. There's some actual. Let me just put one color in. I want to. There's a color in here. Y'all may not see that from the picture, but I can see it right over here. A beautiful purplish cat that comes down through here. Okay. All right. Let's just leave that for now. Again, my name's Dick Ensign. Go out and have fun with the palette knife. Try it out. Buy yourself two, three different sizes. And uh, look me up on my website, dickensingartist.com. Write me if you wish, dickensing at bellsouth.net. Thanks for dropping in. Mm -hmm.